Hello aviators, welcome to this new video. In this video, I'll explain to you what is turbulence, what are the different types of turbulence, there are seven types of turbulence, and also I will take you to the flight simulator, because in my opinion, there is no better way to visualize things for you guys so that you have a clear picture of your perspective. And also, when it happens, I will take you to the flight deck to show you what we do as a mitigation strategy to avoid them. If we encounter them, how do we leave the area of turbulence? So if this sounds interesting to you, hit the thumbs up and let's get started. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We'll be landing in the airport in just a few minutes. So what is turbulence? But before we start, if you're new to the channel, my name is Yasin, I'm an airline pilot, I fly the Airbus A380, and in this channel, we'll discuss everything related to aviation, ranging from general aviation questions to more technical topics. If that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing. So turbulence is, imagine it as if you're sitting in front of a river and you see that flow or stream of water flowing. It's very regular, laminar, and as soon as it hits a rock, that water will become turbulent, irregular, and disturbed. While the the air functions exactly the same. So if we fly towards or in any turbulent air, that will cause turbulence, rocking the wing, and you will feel that the aircraft is changing attitude. That's exactly what turbulence is. So there are three levels of intensity of the turbulence, and in aviation, we classify them as light, moderate and severe. Light turbulence will be when you're sitting, you will feel a light strain against your seat and you will barely notice some aircraft attitude changes. Moderate turbulence, you'll feel a, a bit stronger strain against your seat than light turbulence. You will find it harder to walk around the cabin. And severe turbulence, which is extreme and rare, you will find it impossible to walk inside the cabin. You will feel like you're forced against the seat. So this is to visualize what are the levels of turbulence. So now let's talk about the seven types of turbulence. To start with the first one, it's called clear air turbulence. Clear air turbulence is associated with jet streams. Jet streams defined as narrow bands of fast moving air. They will fly from west to east. So these narrow bands of fast moving air, if they hit the aircraft from the side, that will cause some rocking of the aircraft wing and that might cause some turbulence. The second type of turbulence is called mountain wave turbulence. The mountain wave turbulence will happen when a wind hits a mountain and on the other side of the mountain, which is called the leeward side, will have caused some rotors. Those rotors will form, they will go up up higher altitude and if the aircraft flies towards them or in them that would cause turbulence and also it's worth noting that sometimes you're not flying even close to the mountains and you would have those rotors and those turbulence that's because the jet streams will carry them miles and miles away and you will have the effects of mountain waves even not close to the mountains so the third type is called frontal turbulence there are four types of fronts cold front warm front occluded front and stationary front that will be for another video about meteorology but for this one to make it simple imagine as fronts having different temperatures so one will be cold and one will be warmer. There's different types of temperature, we create a difference of pressure. So when you have a difference of pressure, that will create wind. And that wind will create turbulence when these air masses mix together. So the fourth type of turbulence is called convective turbulence or thunderstorm turbulence. Thunderstorm turbulence is usually associated with cumulonimbus clouds. I'll put a picture here just for you to be able to visualize what they look like. These clouds, when they're very active at their mature stage, they will have a lot of updrafts and downdrafts. These updrafts and downdrafts, they cause a lot of turbulence. Turbulence. So cumulonimbus clouds also contain a lot of hail. So we avoid this type of clouds at all costs. And we were able to detect them with weather radar as they have higher reflectivity. And the fifth one is called thermal turbulence. Thermal turbulence happens on a warm sunny day when the sun hits the ground and when the air mass is hot enough. And as a warm air is lighter than cold air, the air mass will start to rise to altitude. That vertical movement will cause turbulence. Thermal turbulence only happens at lower altitude. And number six is wake turbulence. Wake turbulence happens because of vortices. Vortices are what you see on the wingtips of an aircraft. They are a product of lift, which is generated by a differential of air pressure below and above the wing. So the high air pressure below the wing will meet the lower air pressure above the wings at the wingtip, and that will create vortices. And lastly, number seven, mechanical turbulence. It happens because of obstructions. So when the wind will hit an obstacle, could be a building, a rough surface, that air will go from linear and regular to irregular and rough, and that will cause turbulence. So here we are in the flight simulator. We're sitting in the cabin next to a window and we have the wing view. I will introduce the turbulence and then I will go to the flight deck and show you exactly what we see and how we deal with it in case it happens. So as you can see, this is light turbulence. The aircraft is not flying completely in smooth air. So you will have slight movement of the wing as it's trying to keep the wings level. And you can see the ailerons slightly here, they're correcting to keep the wings level. So I'm gonna take you to the flight deck to show you what it looks like from our perspective in case of light turbulence. So here we are on the flight deck, as you can see, I'll give you a, a brief explanation about our instrumentation. 
Um, here we have our primary flight display where we can see our airspeed, our attitude, and our altitude. And next to it, this is called a navigational display. It acts like a GPS if you want to make it simple. But for this video, what's more important for us is to know that when there is turbulence, you will see that there is a slight variation of airspeeds and maybe a bit of attitude. Now let's go back to the cabin to introduce more turbulence to show you what it looks like from your perspective and then show you how we deal with it and then how we exit the turbulence. So now we're back in the cabin as you can see there is more turbulence now you can see that the aircraft is moving more than the previous one that's because there is a higher level of turbulence the wings will be bending a bit rest assured that the wings are made to bend up to five meters sometimes depending on the aircraft type the ailerons at the wingtip here they will correct to keep the wings level as every time there will be a gust but the aircraft is flying perfectly in case of these conditions. So this is exactly what you will be seeing. Now I want to show you in the flight deck what it looks like so that you have an information on your next flight, what the pilots see and what they will do to exit these kind of conditions to make it more comfortable for your flight. All right, now we're back to the flight deck. As you can see, you're more familiar with the instrumentation as I explained to you earlier. You can see now the airspeed is varying more than before. Roll is more pronounced than earlier but the aircraft is flying safely. If we don't have any information, which means that this turbulence was unexpected, we would change our altitude to find an altitude that has smoother air. So we will ask air traffic control to give us clearance to descend to a lower altitude. So we will do exactly that now. This is a flight control unit. It has our altitude. So what we will do is we will insert a lower altitude. We will go to 34,000 feet, flight level 340 and try a different altitude to see if the air is smoother. So let's try that. As you can see, we're approaching our altitude. The wind has dropped tremendously. You can see already that everything is more stable than the upper altitude. If we go back to the cabin, there is smoother air here. And that's exactly what the pilots will do when you're flying. So now on your next flight, you would know exactly if a turbulence happens, what the pilots are doing about it. They will change the altitude to find smoother air to make it more comfortable for you. And also sometimes we might change the route because altitude is not always an option. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and also share it with your friends to show them that there is not only one type of turbulence, but there are many. And also so that they are informed about what pilots do in case of turbulence happens. Tell me in the comments if you like this type of videos where I show you exactly real life type scenarios. Also give me your feedback. I really appreciate it.